so this is what the trail is looking like this morning pretty much just a nice walk a little path in the woods I crossed several bridges that went over various levels of water none of them great but one was flowing clear a couple were a stagnant just standing water and then one was a trickle I'm catching every spider web on the trail this morning where'd you go Mr. Spider awesome so yeah if you're hiking the AT in July they expect there to not be as much water and if you're doing ridge walks expect there to not be as much water or easily accessible water but in some areas no water I remember in Pennsylvania I had to carry extra water and I was going over dragon's tooth and I had all that extra water and I sat down and drank a whole liter bam <laughs> just to light my pack so and for me because I'm not pulling you know 15 20 mile days barely 10 I really have to watch my water because if I were younger and faster and you know wasn't worried about injury I could push on and maybe get through a dry spot but first of all I don't enjoy it as much second I don't want an injury or a re-injury I've had many and third Sometimes, if it's technical, I have to go slow. So, I might not even be able to. And so far on this trip, I've not had to take any pain. Well, ibuprofen, vitamin I. No vitamin I. I took one one day as a precaution. Then I thought, well, well I don't really need to take it unless I'm having a problem. Now, don't get me wrong. In the morning, everything hurts hips, back. I feel like I can't even crawl out of my tent. But once I get up and get going, I do a few stretches. It's all better. Now here's an example coming up on one of those creek beds. Looks like it's a dry creek bed. So where you see water on your map isn't. Sometimes a year it is. But like right now, nothing here so I recommend gut hooks and you can buy it for whatever section you're doing or you can buy the whole through hiker package but you can go on there and look at your water and people comment and that's what I've been going by so they'll say you know bring a scooper or just a trickle or standing water stagnant. Of course, from Florida, Florida Trail, we're used to standing stagnant water. That's what you drink. Also, another tip for hikers, make sure you have something to scoop water with. You will need it. Even in the most plentiful times, there's going to be a spring that is required to scoop. It's hard to get a bottle down into the water. What I use is just a plain old water bottle, small water bottle. Oh, a little uphill. Already out of breath. But then you just cut the bottom half off and that's your scooper. Now you could go around with the lighter and kind of melt the edges so they're not sharp. But I didn't do it this time. Didn't seem like it needed it. Okay, well, I'm going to catch my breath in this little flat spot and head on. Just had a nice walk through a pine forest down there. Stopped here to have a break. And now I'm going to be going that way. Yeah, I'm going to get real food. I know what I was thinking, staying out here for 11 days. But it's really the water situation that's sending me in. 
but it's all good. I just came from that direction and I'm just taking a video of this gurgling creek. I have a, a feeling this is Dismal Creek so I can play it over the next two days when I'm rationing water up on the ridge. Isn't that pretty? Music to my ears. Heading on that way. Oh, that looks like so inviting to just go sit in. <laughs> I finally made it to Dismal Falls, right there. There are some people here swimming. You can hear the little one's voice in the distance. It is three tenths of a mile, slightly downhill. Felt slightly, I'll let you know when I start going back up. But just beautiful, peaceful. I'm gonna sit and have a break here. There's some folks back that way. So due to how close this is by a highway, sometimes um, it says that there are locals here. But not many people today. This isn't a weekend. I'm, I would imagine it's pretty busy on the weekend. You can camp along this trail. There's all kinds of nice campgrounds within the sound of this lovely waterfall. And it goes on that way and on down there. Just doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> My feet are in nice cool water. I just had some lunch. I got my own little spot right here. Fishy swimming around. And I'm going to a hostel. I've already changed my mind. I'm not tinning out. I'm sleeping in a real bed. I'm going to have some home cooked food. Yeah, so much for my COVID plans. Oh, this is delightful right here. Delightful. But I think I'm going to have to pack up and head on. Can't stay here all day. Okay, report on the trail going to Dismal Falls and back. Piece of cake. Yeah, I'm a little out of breath, but I was able to keep my pace on the climb up. So, worth it. So worth it. Nice lunch, feet soak. Just three tenths of a mile right down that trail. Okay, so I don't know what to do. I just met a hiker that said, yes, they found Warner at Jenny Knob Shelter. Now, hopefully there's still water there. But, if not, I feel like I should still carry extra water. And the mileage isn't as far as I thought it was. So now I'm trying to decide, well, because... It's different according to gut hooks versus my 2018 A wall. That's what I mean. So when I looked at gut hooks, it's not that bad. I might carry a couple extra liters of water just in case and try to get past Jenny Knob Shelter and camp somewhere past Trent's Grocery tonight instead of paying to camp there or going to the Weary Feet Hostel, which I hear is really good. It's kind of like a, more like a bed and breakfast. But just in the time of COVID, I'm not sure is communal living something I should be doing right now. So 
So as much as I psych myself up, that's what I was gonna do. I think I'm just gonna go ahead with plan A, which is keep on trucking. Loving mouths in the wild, y'all. That's what I think I'm gonna do. All right, heading on to Trent's Grocery and Food. I made it to the roadblock, and I believe that's Kimberly Creek, which it's recommended that you don't get that water because it flows past houses and farms. It's a little sudsy out there. I don't think you can see it from here. And I came from just a little bit there. Gonna go get french fries. French fries and a soda. Well, I made it to Trent's Grocery. I've been here all afternoon um, chatting with the owner's dad and the owners, and they're very nice folks. And right now I'm in the camping area. So these campers here are like hunting campers during season. They may have visitors, but this is where the campers stay, just anywhere out here that you want. I was able to top off my batteries inside the store. Had a hot meal and a soda. I've had a shower and I'm doing laundry. So six dollars for camping, shower, and laundry. Oh, I paid a dollar for the pod. But it's not a bad deal. Now that dog you hear is one of the dogs. Uh, there's a fellow that lives in the first camper. And that's his dog. But yeah, I've seen bunnies out in this little field here. And all in all, a good day. It was, it was good to talk to people. Red-winged blackbird. Ooh, so pretty. It was good to talk to people. I met some hikers at Dismal Falls and um, met up with them again here. So we chatted. Just been a good day. Good to talk to people when you... Have nobody to talk to for three days. All right. Well, I'm gonna take care of some things. Go check my laundry. But this is Trent's Grocery. Well, this is a where you would camp if you came to Trent's Grocery. The store is right up there. They have a, a few supplies, um, especially things like honey buns and Twinkies and pasta sides and things like that. I'm back at the creek here, uh, enjoying the water before I head up on that ridge. But this is a pan around of the hiker campground. This is my lonely little tent over there. Anyway, it's about dark. I'm gonna call it a day. Tomorrow's another day of hiking. Feels good. Clean clothes, clean body. Nasty bug bites all over me. Good times, good times. So there are lightning bugs everywhere. They're all out here by my horse friend. And my horse friend has a deep friend out there. As you can see. Little borrowing of the grassy area by the deer.